What's the mother friend of Kate and Deal, man? We got breaking news, breaking news, man, all right? Unfortunately, we have a popular Louisiana rapper, Jada Young, and is currently hospitalized, battling injuries sustained when he was shot outside a home in his home state. TMZ has learned a rip from the uh, Bogalusa PD tells us they received a call just before six Wednesday night for a shooting at a home on Superior Avenue. Cops say one victim had been transported to a local hospital by someone on scene and another victim who was critically wounded was treated by paramedics and rushed to the hospital for treatment. All right. A law enforcement source tells us Jada Youngin is in critical condition and a source close to the rapper tells us he's lost a lot of blood and is currently in surgery. Online reports say the second victim is a relative of the, a relative of the rapper, potentially his father. Let's jump off into this. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also breaking right now, two people were shot tonight in Bogalusa. Sources are telling us one of the victims is a rapper with a long criminal history who goes by J. Dodd Youngin. J. D. Youngin. <laughs> Police say they were working on a shooting on Superior Avenue near Pontomac Street uh, when they were also called to a scene on Ott Street at Marshall Richardson Road. And we're still trying to piece all of this together, but sources are telling us the motive for that violence was retaliation. They're also saying the rapper, whose legal name is Javoria Scott, is in critical condition. He's been arrested in the past on drug charges, and most recently he was sentenced to seven months in prison for gun violence crimes. Tonight, Bogalusa Mayor Wendy Perrette told us the city's been rocked by too many violent crimes, and she's asking anyone with information to come forward. Someone saw something. And, you know, you can pretend like nothing happened and you can point fingers, but you have got to look in the mirror at some point in time and tell the police what you've seen. Um, they can't do it on their own. Again, if you have any information, you're asked to call Bogalusa Police at 985-732-3611. There you have it right there, man. As I get more information, I will update you. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm sharing the vibes, and I'm out.